good morning, good morning. I don't have anything in my Hobonichi for today and yesterday. I'm supposed to do something today. It is so cold here this morning. Our temperature dropped hugely. We had rain and then the temperature dropped last night. Um, I think it got down to 21 or something. It's like 28 right now. I don't go out of the house. I wasn't built for this. I have lots of padding, but I wasn't built for this kind of weather. Um, I've been catching up on my Hobonichi. There's still blank spots. Uh, you know, I hate having him included in my journal, but I think it's important to have history in my world. That's just me. Some of the quilting I've been doing lately, uh, my Job's journal stuff that I got. I always do like a cover. They have a cover page in here for the month, each month. And um, I'm practicing my letters. They're not great, but they're getting better. Um, it, I mean, it just, I'm determined to get rid of at AKA use things and I'm using stuff up. I mean, I'm using it. I'm putting stickers everywhere. <clears throat> There's no point in buying them if you don't use them. I'm becoming aware of my issues. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. Hold on. Let's see if a little, my terrible, terrible football game Monday night. Oh, my team lost for the first time this year. Anyhow, I mean, just, you know, it's just colorful. I'm trying to be cognizant of adding color. I don't have a whole lot of pictures in here at all, but I have other stuff. Um, I think through December, I'm going to be more aware of putting uh, pictures in. But I, ha I use pictures out of Halloween. I mean, Halloween. I use out of magazines, and I mean, they're everywhere, and... My favorite lettering magazine letters and I mean it's just here's another one <laughs> I think it's important to include history um, oh yeah football I have a lot of football this is pretty patterns um, Bella's birthday we had a unicorn theme just fun stuff just fun stuff oh I drew a picture of my dog Look at that. That's pretty darn good for me. And a white dog, it's hard to draw, draw an all white dog that only has a black nose and black eyes. But that's pretty darn good for me. He's not eating very well at all. Sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. My husband was in Charleston. We ha I cooked a duck. Um, I didn't have anything for this day. I got my Kelly Perky stuff and I put in an almanac picture. These are out of Daphne's diary from last year. I'm kind of documenting what my dog will and won't eat. The closing of my mom and dad's house. We had a terrible train wreck here. Three teenage girls. Hobby Lobby Hall. All the college football. I'm really into call and football right away. Anyhow, that's my Hobonichi ketchup. This came out of something. I think that Trader Joe's thing, but it was great for my last art class up in Anderson. <clears throat> Speaking of art, let's put this somewhere for just a tad. This I'm trying to print a calendar page for my December daily, but our printer is acting up. Look what I painted at art yesterday. Look at the swatches. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this paper is super expensive, and I would never, ever, ever normally buy this kind of quality paper because my um, talent isn't, or lack thereof, is not good enough, in my opinion. But boy, oh boy. The paint and the water just react so much better on here. So much better. It's gorgeous. So that, I think I want to do like one of these for Christmas colors to go in my December daily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. December needs to stretch out to three months for, in order for me to use everything I want to use this year. Um, I saw somebody talking about this on Instagram. It's a bag sealer. And it's heated, it's cheap, it's handheld, but I can Frankenstein my page protectors. Yes, 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 yes. And then I found my cards that I made for my rolling down the road, which is now postponed, not canceled, just postponed. 
but some of these journal cards that I made. Just playing with stuff that I have. Stamps, stickers, um, paper. Magazine images. Paper that I bought. Paper that I made. I mean, just Kelly Perky paper. Just fun. I was supposed to go somewhere today, but I'm not leaving the house. It's too cold. Anyhow, I think those are so pretty. So, those go back in my rolling down the road kit. All right. What else was I going to show you before I get going? I think I'm just going to do some prepping. I got my guy in here, my cover. And I found one of the ephemera pieces and just stuck it right there on the spine. And now I'm going to practice doing this. So I need to really make sure I'm going in the right direction as far as size. I want to do like split one in half, split one in fourths. Because these are all just one size. And they really didn't have a um, other option in the Staples brand. This is Staples brand. But I'm going to try to do this. How do I write on here to make a straight line? That is the question. Okay, so this is... I think I'm going to go off. All right, so if you take the seam out of the equation, okay, that top is empty, open, eight and a half. So it would be four and a quarter. Watch me do math. <laughs> I kind of just write on here with a pencil. I think that's enough that I can see it. Now, how in the heck am I going to get it under here? Oh, this could be an issue. I know there's fusible tools that will do this differently. This is just a like a chip bag closer. Hmm. This may not work the way I thought it was going to. Oh. Okay. We might go offline at this point. What I would it would like to do is seal it up right here, but my throat's not big enough. And then open this top layer and drop it in. Make my own page protectors. And I don't even think I could go across either. And I don't know how... If I can roll it up. Maybe I could do that. We'll struggle with this together the first time. <laughs> oh. I'm folding it up so that I can squeeze. This is an old quilting trick. This is how you quilt. This one is a little bit different than what I saw. Now, granted, it was only a couple dollars, but it was an experiment. But it's basically just sealing, which I'm okay with. It's like a seal stapler. Okay, let's see if we can slip something in here. No! <laughs> Although it is wrinkled beyond belief and don't know if that's going to fall out. Okay. It's a work in progress. Now my other option is just to cut all these. If I kind of want full pages, 
two pictures or four pictures. Hmm. That's not good. I don't like that. All right. But I needed templates. And I think this is too small. I want to make a page pocket like this. Let's use this one as our template since it's already kind of messed up. For paper and acetate and vellum. I'm prepping. But some people have like prepped, 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 prepped. We have impeachment hearings, hearings, not just inquiries, hearings starting today. And I'm watching them because I think it's important to know what happens in history if it's happening in the present. All right. So what I'm doing now is flipping through some old paper pads. Some I've had for a year, some I've had for 120 years or so it seems. Um, uh, after Christmas, I will be condensing my Christmas much like I did Halloween. Although, last Christmas, I got, because that's about when all this stuff started that I had to condense because I had way too much stuff. Um, I started with Christmas last year, so really a lot of the Christmas has been condensed. Although, one or two of these paper pads in stacks I don't like, and I have fiddled through them for years, and I don't like them, so... They're gone. They're out of here. If I don't like you, you're out of here. So I picked out a few, like, ten pages that I really like and I want to cut down. But I'm reserving the right to do that. Right now I'm working on vellum and acetate. Just making it the size of the page protectors so far. Um, and playing with page protectors that I bought for another product or that I was going to use and try to cannibalize, which I'm now doing cannibalizing for this, um, my version of December Daily. And in saying all that, I speak about this at the very end, but I'm realizing, stop what you're doing. You're trying to make it look like everybody else's. Everybody else has the same products. I don't want mine to look like everybody else. Now, I did not buy Allie Edwards products. I bought some other ones that a lot of people use. Um, but I want to make some of my own, too, because I don't want mine to look like everybody else's. And I do address that at the end. Um, the little tool that I got will work a little bit. Um, not as easily as I wanted it to, but it'll work. So I'm cannibalizing paper. I'm cannibalizing these page protectors um, and cutting down acetate and vellum to fit into this format. Getting the paper ready. Um, and I'm waiting, and then I have some page protectors that are gonna be too small if I use the scraps. So I've seen people using tabs, and I talked about those tabs I think yesterday when I purchased um, them over the weekend or whenever I did, Monday morning. Um, I'm looking for them. I found them. Um, I don't like the way it looks at the end, but I've seen people do the exact same thing with paper, and I think I'll do with it with paper from now on. Those tabs are very useful, and I can use them for other things, just not this purpose. Um, because I used four of them, because you need a front and a back, and, uh, that's a lot when you only have 24. That's eight pages. I guess I could get more, but I, I think they look too stark. I think my camera cut off, but I have to be careful of it not looking like a December daily recipe for scrapbooking, memory keeping. That's not bad at all. Um, I like her sense of memory keeping, but I want it to look like mine. I don't want it to look like the 30,000 other people that bought this same ephemera kit. <laughs> Selfish? Perhaps. Some might say, no. It's you do you. I want to do me. I don't want to do Heidi Swap. I don't want to do Allie Edwards. I want to do Allie Edwards recipe. 
but I don't want to have it taste exactly like Allie Edwards cookies. I want it to be mine. So I'm very careful every day. I need to put a little sign up here. You do you. Because <laughs> I, I love how this looks. I love the organization of it, but I'm an organized chaos person. Um, I have added a couple tabs. Not crazy about how those are milky and how that looks, but you can cover that with washi tape, which I might do. Um, I will admit that the cut down ones of the, and I closed it off, the bigger sets that I bought or cut them off. Um, and I need to trim them a little bit better. They're just in here to don't forget to use this product. There's vellum now. There's a little couple pieces of scrapbook paper. You saw me going through my stack. This is not correcting itself at all. It looks like somebody chewed on it and then spit it back out. So this will not be used, but this is a good hole punch, proper hole punch model. I bought a um, Happy Planner scrap hole puncher. Well, that has the things on the side. I don't want that because it over time they fall out. I'm sorry. That's just the way I see it. Just my opinion. Here's vellum. Now there's acetate in here too. Oh, here's acetate. I put, I gotta put it in the holes though. I put a couple pieces of acetate. I'm gonna round these corners. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, whether I put stuff on it. It doesn't go through my printer correctly. Um, I had the wrong kind of printer for acetate apparently. But there's things, there's ways around that. All right, I know I have another piece. I put two pieces in here. So I have a couple pieces of acetate, a couple pieces of vellum, a couple pieces of, here it is, um, scrapbook paper with a lot more to come and a couple photo protectors. So I think my next concentration will be on the numbers. Now I found a couple things of numbers that I like, but I might make my own. There I am again. Me, D, me, D, me, D, me doing me. Is it wrong to do it the other way? Absolutely not. I just don't want to do it like that. I have this grandiose idea that I'm an artist. Would it probably look neater and more professional the other way? Yes. But that's not me. I'm not neat nor professional. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to keep playing um, and watch impeachment hearings. Um, the beginning. Today's just the first day. And learn how to play with this a little bit better. I think it'll work. It's not going to be as pretty and professional looking. But it'll work for what I want to do. Now today or tomorrow, my cinch binder is supposed to be here. I'm not going to discard all of this and put it in a cinch binder. But my little guy won't fit. And I really want the... It, although now I've peeled it so it's not as thick. I don't know. Maybe this... Maybe I need to do 4 by 8 Or, yeah, 4 by 8 And put it all in a cinch. Maybe I won't go any farther until it gets here. Anyhow, I can play with numbers and make some pretty numbers. I could have bought, I think Allie Edwards' things are all sold out, but I could have bought the digital. But I'm going to make my own. So, here we go. December Daily, down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Being sucked in. <laughs> my humor, sorry. When you get me doing me, you get my stupid humor too. Bye. See y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. Uh, back here with some more prep.